hey guys I hope this video finds you well today um, I just want to talk a little bit about this topic the Lordship of Jesus Christ um, there are some people saying that John MacArthur has abandoned the gospel and he's preaching now uh, the gospel of works something like that um, it could be far from the truth um, it's not true at all because John MacArthur is um, preaching uh, the gospel of grace, uh, the depravity of man, and how gracious and um, merciful uh, God is. But that is a thing. People don't believe you have to recognize or believe or even surrender to Jesus Christ as Lord because you just have to um, receive Jesus, something like that, as Savior. I believe if you have been saved by Jesus Christ, you're not going to lose your salvation. But the reason I believe that is because of the election. God has elected His people since um, from the beginning, before the foundation of the world, the world sorry, using the biblical language. Um, but my point is, Jesus Christ is God. He is the Son of God and He is God Himself. So Jesus is Lord by uh, definition. If he is God himself, of course he is um, Lord. Um, what I see is um, that many people are preaching the gospel of love. Just saying that Jesus loves you to everybody doesn't um, express the gospel at all. The gospel um, has to be preached First of all, as God, um, um, as the creator of the universe and everything in it, like human beings, animals, plants, oceans, stars, planets, galaxies, all of it has been created by God and God is the creator, first of all. Second of all, men have sinned against God, has disobeyed God. And because of that, we live in a cursed world right now. Third, Jesus came to this world to redeem it. Not only the human beings, but all creation. The Apostle Paul in Romans 8 said that all creation is waiting for the manifestation of the sons of God. So, with that said, um, I just want to say that the problem people believe they can... Uh, be a Christian believer, they are saved, and they can re live the, the, the rest of their lives without surrendering to Jesus Christ as Lord, is because Jesus Christ um, is not being preached as Lord. People are not preaching Jesus as Lord, as God Himself. They are preaching a man who died on the cross 2,000 years ago, and we have to preach that. The gospel is Jesus Christ and Him crucified. But He is God. We, we cannot um, forget that. And just to remember you, many people are saying nowadays that this was not the way people believed at the very beginning of the Christian faith, but it's not true at all. And many people, many Christian believers, were um, thrown to the lions on, and were killed just because they were not going to bound and burn incense to Caesar because uh, they used to say Caesar is Lord and the Christian believers at the very beginning were killed because they, they used to say no Caesar is not Lord the Lord is Jesus Christ um, if you are going to understand something better, you have to go to where it started. And if we go back to where it started at the very beginning, um, the Christian church um, believed in a Jesus Christ, not only their Savior, but that Jesus Christ were their Lord. And they were willing to die for that. They were willing to die for this truth for their belief in the Lordship of Jesus Christ. So I 
not only believe in the Jesus, in the Lordship of Jesus Christ, I, I preach uh, the Lordship of Jesus Christ. If you do not believe in Jesus as Lord, it's because you are not under a preaching of a sound gospel. If you are on a church and you are not being under um, a preaching that emphasizes the Lordship of Jesus Christ, you are in the wrong place. You are not listening to the gospel of the Bible. Jesus Christ is Lord. The Apostle Paul said to the Corinthians, um, somebody else come around and preach another, another Jesus, another gospel that we have not preached. And you so easily put up with that. We are not to put up with that anymore at all. We are to believe in Jesus as Lord and we are to surrender to him as Lord because he is. We are to believe that Jesus is Lord because he is. Not because we have the power to make him Lord, but because he is the Lord of the universe. All authority have been given to him by the Father and he is God himself with the Father and the Holy Spirit. So. You have to believe in Jesus as Lord and you have to surrender to him as Lord. And the only way you can do that is if you are under the preaching of the sound gospel, the sound doctrine. Um, otherwise, you are going to be um, believing in a false Jesus. That is not the Jesus as he is presented in the page of the Bible. I will leave a link on the description below. And on Facebook, the link is going to be on the comments. Um, I just wrote an article about this topic. And I hope you watch this video and you read the article. And subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and on my uh, blog. The link for my blog is going to be on the description below. So thank you very much. God bless you all. I'll see you next time.